on. And people can hear us now. Hooray. Hello, everyone. Oh, my hit. Pills haven't kicked in yep. yet. Sorry about Sound test successful. Hooray. Ooh. Sorry about starting late, everybody. I um uh, took my pills quite late last night, so I think I did not hear any of my alarms. But I still woke up at a reasonable time, so here we are. Um we are trying a game. We're trying a game. We're we're um trying uh it came from the desert, which uh I, I, I know a little bit about the I think it's the ad lib version. Uh, not the outlet version. What's the one? Um, oh fuck! There's like a a live action version of this one, where which almost has nothing to do with the entire plot of this particular game. Weird. Three D O, I think maybe. Yes, it's that time. Three D O. Um, now Nikki, if you want to join us, you're quite welcome to, because I understand you're unemployed bum these days. Um, he's on his way. Excellent. It came oh, from a Oren. very purple orange universe. We are in glorious EGO. Very yes. good. Boom! It came from the desert. It. What it is, it. we do not know. Yes. Yeah. Man, they could have just written it and, and left us hanging, but then I guess Stephen King would have had words. I don't know. <laughs> He's not coming from the desert, but he's coming from a warm place. Uh, Lizard, Lizard Breath, Breath has you. been awaiting your return. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Uh, How are you doing? Oh, good, thank you. Okay, I've selected no. And nothing appears to be happening. Oh, there we go. I've been living in a small desert town for almost a month now. I'm a geologist and in my game. The most interesting rocks always end up in the least interesting places. Welcome to Lizabeth, USA. A noble tumbleweed truck stop where all the drugs are worse than the coffee. And every day, it's pretty much like every other. At least the Metroid Stolhans A221357 fell out of the sky and landed pretty much on top of a Wily Jeter semi-secret still outside of town. What the? What's a Wily Jeter semi-secret still out of town? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wily was okay, and business picked up quite a bit at O'Royden's bar, so the li locals figured it was net game overall. I'd been out rock hunting and was thinking how good it felt to be home again when there was a knock at the door. Okay, let's uh, go answer the door. Hello? Oh, wow. Who wants to be this old what? man? It's like, he has them samples you were looking for, Doc. Sweet! <laughs> hey, you got a noisy donkey. <laughs> oh, digitized donkey, look at that. I'll give you a look see to see where, where they's from. If um, if you got a man man to know, I got a mind, sir. In the month that G's had worked for me, I'd never seen his donkey so agitated. I was about to ask from it, but I heard Biff coming in the back door. Oh my! Biff was coming in my back <laughs> door. <laughs> Who? Talk to Biff, cause he's coming in my back door. <laughs> I can see you're busy, Doc. I'll be at. Oh, Royden's. Oh, Royden's. Yeah. <laughs> man, that sounds like a um. That sounds like a butt condition, man. Um, yeah, if, Biff's coming if, in my back door. If you need me, <laughs> I'll be carrying my back door. Yeah. Look at that sweet donkey. Yes, donkey. Nick, the thing that you've got roll. All right, I gotta go like proper. Join us. All right, get this. Are I you? heard some guys in town claiming they heard strange noises out by the pipeline. They were scared out of their pants. And someone else found a headless cow over at JD's farm. Maybe the wolf man's on the prowl. <laughs> I love you, Biff. <laughs> Becker is looking at me in <laughs> confusion. <laughs> Hello, Becker. 
Biff was not was not a kid who was normal. Oh, he's a kid. Wow. Paid any attention to this bump in the night stuff. I thought it was interesting. that It's this not little... a kid's hairline. No, really, <laughs> I Maybe I like them looking like they think they're in high school. Um, What's that? <laughs> I thought it was interesting that these little dramas in town had caught his attention. I'm going to make a call, son. Make that call. Uh, who am I going to call? Oh, oh wow. Lots um, of people to call. Call the hair strip. I can call home. <gasps> Since I'm home. Uh, call the university. Call Dusty at K-Bug. Uh, I think K-Bug sounds like who I'm going to call. Okay, well, I'm guessing it's a local radio station. Yeah. But, yeah. Pardon me, son. I'm gonna go call K Bug. Hey, Doc, you want Dusty? She just getting off another call. Heard some strange things happen in the last night at the bar. Oh, she's off, Doc. Go ahead. Hey, stranger. I'm off the air at six. How about meeting me at a road? I got some weird gossip to tell you. <laughs> Oh boy! I'm sleeping out with everybody. I'm gonna look at these samples. <laughs> everybody loves a good geologist. Yeah, what is with all the modern furniture? Mm. Jeepers! This is spooky, Doc. One of these samples has a weird glow to it. Oh god, if we found uranium. <laughs> I was gonna say, so you found uranium. Yeah, put that back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, shade. Hand me the red one, son! <laughs> um. And he just went poof. Um. Apparently, our house is on fire. <laughs> is, are we holding the? Are we holding the extinguisher? Oh, shit, we happened? are. Yeah, we are. Oh, it's spreading. I didn't realize oh, what was oh, happening. Oh. So much. So much fun, ask modern furniture, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> no, I don't think any of us. Why are we so prepared? We have the hose out already. Does it happen often? Is this like the third time this week? The fire overcame my efforts to put it out. Oh, <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> okay. I had the smell of smoke in my nose as I came to. Nurse Judy was a welcome sight at the foot of my bed. I've already voiced three other women, so it's your turn. Uh, two other yeah. women. Doctor, yeah. you should really grow up and stop playing with fire. You got some minor smoke damage in your lungs, but nothing serious. You should be out of here in a day or so. Sweet. But I'd hate to see you leave. Oh, a day or so. I had to get out of this place. <laughs> I'm Escape gonna... hospital. Escape hospital. <laughs> I'm going to make a call first, honey. I'm glad the phone's right there. I'm gonna call Dusty again. She's the only one I trust. Is my shirt on too right? It it feels like it's two sizes too small. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. They're not in right now. Well, Dusty's a they, I guess. Um, who else am I gonna call? Wow, I'm gonna call someone about this horny nurse. Gonna call the police station, clearly. <laughs> I'm rigging the state police station now. Go ahead. Oh, that's because you talk to the operator every time. Oh, okay. I see. Uh... No, Doctor. I've, I've, I've had no reports on, of anything unusual. Sweet. He's got a pig nose. He does. Mm. Makes me think he's already been turned. <laughs> Have you been affected by any of these shit raised in tonight's stream? Please call Honey Nurses Hotline. All right, let's escape. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a top down stealth section. Where oh, are we? wow. Well, I guess it's time to. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's have to middle gear our way out of here. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh, these weird little bits of digital sound that keep popping in. There we go. I guess there I'm not used to digital sound and, and, and EGA no, at the no, same no, time. Stay away from me, green man! The staff were too quick for me. They jammed me with a hypo and my legs turned to jelly as a tranquilizer took effect. 
Avoid the green man at all costs. The orderlies threw me back into bed and straightened me down. I guess I was staying whether I liked it or not. Well, shit. Well, she's still got a wing oh, for I'll me. Oh, I'll tie you down, sugar. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so that's the Memorial Hospital. That's where we are now. I guess we're now free of our... Okay, li Lizard Breath Star. Elmer's Service Station. K-Bug Radio. Platt University. Jeffrey's Hot Springs. Ooh. Mayor's office. Nick Williams it's, Dairy. It's not one of those very open ended games. Still at JD's farm. Yeah, why is she dressed like a candy cane? She's a candy stripper. <laughs> Mine one. Mine one. Crater. Neptune's Hall. Where are we supposed to be again, New Mexico? Beverly's dri driving Cook's Stud Farm. Wow. Ooh. Ooh la la. <laughs> oh, there's a legend. <laughs> National Armory. No further going that way. Yeah, I see mine one, but no mine's two, three, or four. Heber's Farm. Oh, there's the, there's the airstrip. Mine four. Oh, there we go. So there's clearly more, more mines along that way. I'm looking there's for a railway line up top of the. Okay, back radio. Mm. Come on, I want, I want me sweet. I want to go to, the, I want to go to the um Oirodens, Oirodens, Oirodens. All mm, planned. Mine tunnel, all planned. Save game. It's its own location on the map. Oh yeah. That's mine too. There's no mouse controls, huh? Um, nope. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that volcanic what crater. A... Oh, we had set up. There's a quarry. JD's farm. Where, where the. Neptune's we inspected hole. a piece of uranium and burnt our house down. What else can we do? Or, or we can go to Oroidens if we can find it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. Cook stuff. Yeah. Um, You'd think it would be in here, Platt University, K Bug Radio. I doubt yeah, maybe scrub that, in the middle. Maybe scrub that downtown area. Maybe the buildings are just really, Elmer really granular. Station. There's a service station. Oh, there it is. There oh. it is, yeah. The bar was oh, hello. right at the moment. Hello, <laughs> Payton. It's um, art. You we we oh. probably find the kids in the hospital for like two days, so we missed everyone. Let's go to the radio station then. <laughs> we Turns out it has mouse control, but since it's an Amiga game, it legally has to check the wrong port for it. Oh, so <laughs> we've been getting some disturbing reports out there from the Pump House 3. It seems that the workmen out there are seeing strange lights at night. Do you think it might have something to do with that meteor? Maybe it does. Oh, that's all we get. We're gonna go to the, the dairy. The field stood quiet. No one was around, baby. I mean, this is the same open exploration, ticking, ticking real-time clock thing as um, that that house game we were looking at, but with a completely different premise. Yeah, let's go to the server station. Okay, so we lose about half an hour every time we travel. Elmer being look had a worried look on his face, but who could tell? He always looked like that. It looks like he's being shot in the chest as well. Yeah. Either that or he takes a really large key to open him. Mm. Um, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> Hellcats are at it again, Doc. They're out making trouble in, in that thing they call a car. Saw them heading towards a, a, a war plant. If you're going to go out there, be, 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 be careful. Right. Stop being pussy. Cool. <laughs> Well, there's lots to explore, but only a little happens at each location. Lizard Breath Star. What's a Lizard Breath Star? Oh, Bert's secretary <clears throat> called to me from the back room. Bert ain't here. 
drove out to the rock quarry this morning. Told you to stop by. Guess we're going to the rock quarry. Because I don't know who Bert is, but he sounds like mm. fun. Do you get the feeling we chose the wrong option at the start? Or oh, something? Pretty yes. much, yeah. <laughs> Ice and the Hellcats came out of nowhere, roared by inches past my car. I, I shouted something about chicken. They disappeared ahead of me, but I knew they were only coming around. Any minute now, they'd be coming for me. Two tons of hot iron bearing down my hood on them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the option was new game, yeah. Oh, shit, am I driving? Oh, shit, I am driving. Oh, oh shit. No, we <laughs> Doc, we'll back here again. Car crash. Oh. Nothing seriously wrong with you, but we're gonna have to keep you here for a day or so for observation. By the way, Ice is real mad at you about you wrecking his car. Said he'd be waiting for you. But... Well, we just we just head on collided with him. He played with the chicken with me. <laughs> what was he expecting to happen? <laughs> I'm gonna escape again, lady. <laughs> what do I, what do I get the feeling this is gonna be my like the most voicing I've gotta go. do? <laughs> yes. Oh shit, they're coming for me! Oh no, it's a green guy. Oh, this is a green guy again. Oh no, he's slow though. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Open door! Open door! <laughs> oh Jesus, they all came for me. We, shit, we they found me again. Gear. Little gear, this. Yeah. Crashed my car, and even worse, I learned for fart like a ship's horn when I did it. All right, where's the drive in? Oh, it's closed again. It's open at six to nine. All right. So, where's the skip time button? Mm. Let's go to Neptune's Hall, whatever that is. I walked what? in, a group of people. Wow, look at him. That's quite a get up. He's the grand seahorse of the Neptunians. I welcome you in entry to Nancio. Salidas, Baron. Oh, fuck. I can't even read these. Barango, K2, it is Scipio Nipto. That means we welcome all those in the spirit of giving and smoke them if you got them. Brother Holland will now pass out. Amongst you. Try to wake him up if you can. But seriously, friends, dig deep, deep in your hearts and pull out a crisp green one for the cause of starving Neptunians everywhere. What? I don't know what stake all <laughs> this guy was pulled up in, but just shaking his hand made me want to take a shower. It was covered in some sort of ooze. Guess we found the local cult. Yeah. Cool. Okay. What is it? Okay, so it's ten forty-five. Let's go to the stud farm. Mm. It's just the dangest thing. Hold a dice on old Phil with grain and this morning it's plum empty. Something's just sucked it right. Wow. <laughs> Don't you kind of just wish... like my missus sucked yeah. it right. <laughs> the farmer looked behind me and went pale. A silent scream. Tried to escape from his lips. I turned my head to see what. Wow, he was quick. Ooh, damn, he gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Okay. Oh, Turn holy shit. Oh. oh my god, that's huge. Oh shit. <laughs> um, how is our. My gun <laughs> on an empty chamber. If the ant came at me, I was at creature bait. I decided to reload my pistol just in case. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Jesus. Oh shit! <laughs> my my skill dropped, and I tried to focus on where I was. As my vision cleared, a nurse came into view. I could not help but notice her loveliness as she spoke. It's like a Sierra game, but you never die. That's you're what... lucky that they found you, Doc. Whatever you tangle with, one. We're g you're going to be with us for two days at least, unless you try to escape again. 
I mumbled something about the ant I had tangled with. Holy shit. Honestly, Doc, I'm not really into the high sciences, but if it's bugs you want to know about, Dr. Wells over at the university lab is the guy to see. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go see him. I wonder if this is how we find leads in this game, just die over and I'm over gonna again. accept treatment for <laughs> once. You make me good and healthy, lady. I got, Your thing, I, sugar. I got an itch around my crotch. Can you help me scratch it, honey? <laughs> I'm afraid it'll only make the itch worse. Got uh, one on my own. <laughs> oh, shit. It felt good to be up and around again. The rest done me some good, but it lost some time. I need to get back to work. Let's go see the bugs. I'm trying to remember where that was. Bray Elma Station. That's the right. Where's the university? <laughs> Here it is. Turns out your insurance doesn't doesn't cover huge fuck off ant attacks. We'll send you the bill. I dragged him into the professor's lab and told him about the giant ant. He urged his eyebrows and got this worried look on his face. He looks like an accountant. If, if what you say is true, there's no way you're gonna be able to pierce his body armor with bullets from a northern sidearm. I don't know why I sound like this. The only place on his body that would be vulnerable would be an antenna, and even then... We should talk about your taxes. Uh, his voice trailed off, and I changed accents again. Now I'm a New Yorker. <clears throat> well, I decided to leave him to ponder him while I told him. Bye! I'm going to go to the map. Bye, son. I'll tell you about my, my my things later. Let's check out the bar. What time is it? It's only 10, 10, 10, 10, 18. Let's go to the hot springs. We'll get ourselves nice and relaxed. Listen, Doc. I, I don't want... I, I don't want to be watching my might call Impalachia, but me and the boys are too busy to, to listen to any stories about meteors. If, if you got proof something strange is happening, then I'll listen, but if you don't, we don't have time. For any social calls. Oh, the hot, hot springs. Hot springs not even a build. Yeah, you, yeah. Just, you just need holes hot in the spring. ground for hot springs. I don't know what you're do, yes. doing work on. <laughs> Hilgers yeah. Field. Sounds like fun. Louis LaRue ran a charter business. From the looks of it, the crates in the field, it was a wonder anyone got off the ground. Mm. Mr. Doc, today is the day for that flight to, to La Vie. I you say the flight of a lifetime. I'm for only $15 an hour. What do you think? Sure, I can go to the hospital again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah what's a plane crash to, um, to, um, um, to add to my injuries? Uh. Let's go. Oh, I'm control. Do we have a flying minigame? <laughs> yes, we do. Dude. Oh, that's a sound. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the flying skills were a bit rusty. Louis suggested I come back tomorrow. He'll try to have the plane fixed. I ended. Meanwhile, I. Oh, I didn't end up in hospital this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look, like I, honorary I, Sierra game. I hit the side like so a little many bit. Ways to die. I'm going to go see the mayor. The mayor's secretary called me from the office. Hey, I'm giving a blowjob at the moment. I mean, the mayor's not here. I'm not giving anyone a blowjob. He's on a junket. He always misses everything. The murder in time. Wow, can you believe it? Who died? There's news that a woman was found over Neptune's hall. What I tell you? Huh? Those weird wackos over there are up to no good. I knew something like this was gonna happen. Well, I guess we're going back to Neptune's hall. That's the the hospital. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go fly a kite. <laughs> Some, oh wait, I don't remember who did, was it me? It was me doing a weird voice. Something yeah. bashed into our tool shed last night and left some strange fluid in the wreckage. It was white and sticky. Oh. And, I mean, if you want to go get a sample, go ahead, but be quick about it. 
Like when Biff bashed in our toolbox and left a sticky bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotta say it. Let's go to JD's farm. Ice in the Hellcat. Oh, shit, not again. Oh, God, here they come. <gasps> oh, here we go. I suppose he knows that I will, I will, um, I will bash straight into the front of him. <laughs> the tires on Ice's car screamed as he swerved out the road. As I drove by, he raised his fist and challenged me to meet him at Beverly's driving for a final showdown. Farmers have knocked off for a day. Sweet. I'm gonna go to the bar and get drunk. Oh, I suppose I should go and have a final showdown at the, uh, drive-in. Who wants to be JD? Oh, us, I mean. So, you had the guts to show up, Sawbones. Boys, give me some room. I'm gonna make Swiss cheese out of this guy. Oh, sweet. The game crashed. crashed. <laughs> well. You made Swiss cheese out of, out of your ram, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess, I guess that's that. Yeah, we died. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, all right.